I'm Jeff from Hot Rods by JSK in Cumby, Texas, and uh, we built this truck for uh, Fred Struckman in Fulton, Arkansas. When we first got this truck, it, uh, it was actually in a barn that had uh, been in a tornado and a beam had come across the this kind of the passenger side of the cab so we had to pretty much reconstruct the top of the cab on the passenger side there was a lot of metal work involved in bringing this thing back uh, the whole process i think took a few about a, you know about two years we made the hood tops the hood sides uh, even the grill uh, we opened up the the wheel wells and kind of reshape them because we we're going to run a bigger 17 and 18 inch wheel. The running boards are all handmade. Uh, it's got a functional tailgate. All of the uh, tail light stands are made to look like a Ford car. The headlights are 34 commercial. They're Ford commercials and then what we did is we, we took 34 stands and welded them into the fenders and sunk the headlights in the bottoms of the fenders. The tailgate, like I said, is fully functional. We made all the hinges and the latches and everything for the tailgate. We wanted to put the license plate on the tailgate, so we used Bob Drake's 36 Ford bumperettes to go on the bumper to accent the license plate. So we built a, uh, a division bar with a light between those bumperettes but we didn't want a wire hanging between the bed and the, the bumper since it's about you know a 10 inch gap between there. So since we built our own bumper braces and everything, we decided to hide the wire inside the bumper braces. And that was pretty tough to do, but we pulled it off. And it's, it's one of my favorite things about this truck, really. It's a Fiat color. It's called Desert Tan, the color on it. It's actually single stage. And it's Exalta, Exalta single stage. Paul Quinn did the, did the striping on it here in the Exalta booth this weekend. The bed wood, just sanded it all down, blocked it down, and uh, it's actually got Exalta clear on the wood. The interior, pretty much just bone stock, the dash. I mean, we just offened all the edges and rounded everything into the, the windshield, the A-pillars and everything. It's got classic instruments, uh, JBL radio, which they make a round radio that matches the gauges now. We thought that was a pretty neat touch. It's got a 37 Lincoln Zephyr dash bottom that flows off the bottom of the dash and the original kind of dip in the dash. We, we made trim pieces to go around the latches, you know, where the door panels want to pull. All power windows that look crank. Subtle, subtle touches here and there. The motor is a, uh, is a Corvette LT4. We wanted to make it look kind of older style. We fabricated a plenum to put the, uh, the mass airflow in off the throttle body. The center portion of the air cleaner is actually a 55 Buick and we made all the trumpets and everything. The exhaust is all stainless, two and a half exhaust, Magnaflow mufflers. I bought the complete chassis from TCI. We wanted a little bit lower stance than what they're usually selling, so we took about, I think, about an inch, inch and a half out of the cross member and pulled it up. We put leaf springs, because because my customer, he wanted leaf springs, so, so we moved the leaf springs up a little bit to get the right stance and stuff that we wanted. He wanted a farm truck, but he got a little bit more than a farm truck. 